So this is lesson 7-1, um, Patterns and Products. This is a parent help video for this lesson. First of all, we're going to talk about a few new vocabulary words. Uh, the first one is product, and a product is an answer <coughs> to a multiplication problem. <coughs> multiplication, an answer to a multiplication problem. So an example of a product might be 3 times 2 equals 6. This would be the product. 6 would be the product because it's the answer. A square product is the answer to a multiplication problem. With the with the um, with the same numbers, okay. So where the factors are the same, with the same, we'll say same factors. So for example, three times three, okay, equals nine. So nine is a square product because the same number was multiplied by itself to get that. So it's the same same factor actually, but. Um, and so I'll define factor is the number the number or numbers that you multiply to get a product. Okay? So it's it's for multiplication for sure. So for example, if it's this is the same one, three times two equals six, three and two are going to be the factors of 6. Okay, so in multiplication we have factor times factor equals product. Okay, and in the case of the square product it's just going to be the factor and the factor are going to be the same number. Alright, and the square number, the square number is the si basically the same thing as a square product. Okay, the square number is when you multiply the same numbers by itself to get an answer. The square number is a square product. All square products are going to be square numbers. Okay, so any square product would be a square number. So today we're going to be looking um, in our math books at a couple of different um, visual pieces. We're going to be looking at a couple of different visual pieces. One of these is a multiplication and division facts table. Okay, and you can see in the multiplication and division facts table, all of the square numbers are in blue. Okay, they're all highlighted so that you can see what the square numbers are. And if we look at the factors to get these numbers, it's easy for us to see, okay, uh, let me make that a little bit darker for us. We can there we go. So if we do 1 times 1, so 1 is the factor, and the square product is going to be 1. If we do 2 times 2, the product, or the square product, is going to be 4. 3 times 3 will be 9. 4 times 4 will be 16. And you get the idea. This one goes all the way down to 9 times 9 highlighted. But you can actually see 10 times 10 is going to be 100. And all of these numbers here, not only are they square products of these numbers, of these factors here, but these numbers here are going to be what are we call square numbers. Okay? So we want students to be able to identify factors, products, square numbers, and patterns in this multiplication and division facts table. And we want them to use the multiplication and division facts table to generate facts, fact families. So to be able to know that um, 3 and 3 are going to be a fact family for generating 9. Or 3 and 2 are going to be a fact family for generating 6. 3, 2, and 6 will all be a fact family. Or 4, 3, and 12 will be a fact family. So we want them to be able to put these numbers together, knowing that these are two factors, and that this one is the product, okay? Um, and to be able to generate those fact families. We also want them to be able to use arrays to find square products. Um, and this lesson actually comes with a really great array at the beginning of it. And the array is actually in a square pattern for students to be able to see 
the square product. So if we look at the array like this, um, I can show it, can break it right down. So for the first array, the first piece of the array is 1 times 1. It's going to equal 1, and that's a square. The second is 2 times 2. And you can see 2 times 2. The answer is going to be 4, okay, and that's going to be a square. So these are all square numbers, all square products, okay, because we're multiplying the same factors together to get the answer. So we want students to be able to look at these arrays and come up with the, uh, with the answer for that. Um, and so this one's going to be all the way down to 10 times 10, and they can certainly use the fact, um, the multiplication and division fact table to come up with that. We also want students to be able to use the turnaround rule to generate multiplication facts. So we're going to take a look at the turnaround rule here. And the turnaround rule is what most people are familiar with um, that you maybe learned in school is the commutative property. So in third grade, we call it the turnaround rule. Uh, so for the turnaround rule, that means that three, if 3 times 2 equals 6, so you have two factors, 3 and 2, 3 times 2 equals the product of 6, then you can turn that around and say 2 times 3 equal, also equals 6. Okay, and like I said, that's what many people are familiar with as the commutative property of multiplication. Okay, because it's multiplication that we're talking about today. Multiplication. We do not expect third graders to remember the words commutative property of multiplication. Um, what we would like third graders to know is that for multiplication, if they turn the facts around, if they turn the factors around, they will still get the same product. So that's, that's what we want them to know, basically. Um, and that, those are the goals of this lesson. So there are different ways you can help with home, at home with this. Uh, students really need to be practicing their multiplication facts. Okay, in third grade, we, we really get started on that. We want them to have a strong basis for multiplication moving forward. Um, as far as the, the, actual, the actual vocabulary words, please use these vocabulary words. Product, square product, square number, factor. Have them multiplying things that you're working with. Um, if you need to do any multiplication uh, in your daily lives, please have kiddos help you with that. Uh, maybe when you're shopping, maybe when you're talking about money, maybe when you're cooking. Um, any time that you might need to uh, do some multiplication, uh, please have your kids help. Use these vocabulary words and also, um, as far as the turnaround rule goes, you know, um, talk to them about that a little bit. If you have to multiply, um, I don't know, three boxes of um, something with two in each box, three boxes of donuts, maybe there's two in each box. You could also talk to them that that would be the same as buying two boxes of donuts with three in each box. Okay, you'd get the same number of donuts either way. All right? So it's just an example, just a thought. But um, the more that you use these words, the more that you work with the kids on the concepts of multiplying things together, um, the more it will help them see that. Um, and as far as squares and square numbers and square products go, this is just a basic introduction to this for the kids. Um, so anything visual that you see that might fit into um, what they're working on here, uh, please show it to them or have them draw it out for you. Um, see if they can talk to you a little bit about it. So. Um, this is Lesson 7.1, Patterns and Products of Grade 3 Everyday Math.